Until now, we have been using the text-to-speech functionality in various parts of our contact flows, such as the play prompt and get customer input blocks. Although text-to-speech is a built-in functionality for Amazon Connect, in the background, Amazon Connect uses Amazon Poly, which is the text-to-speech service from AWS. Let's explore Amazon Poly a little bit. Go to the AWS console, click services, then type Poly, and you will get Amazon Poly. Click on that, and it'll launch Amazon Poly. Now here you can type the text and listen to it or download an MP3 file. This is very helpful because every time you want to change a prompt or add a new prompt to your contact flow, you don't have to publish the contact flow and call the number. Instead, you can just type in here and listen to it. So let's type the prompt that we use in our contact flow and see how it sounds. And now if I click listen to speech. Thank you for calling Busy Ping Broadband Services. Please press 1 for sales, 2 for customer service, and 3 for technical support. You heard exactly what we have been hearing on the IVR that we built. Now if I add a comma here, just after press 1 for sales, and if I listen to this. Thank you for calling Busy Ping Broadband Services. Please press 1 for sales, 2 for customer service, and 3 for technical support. You must have noticed that it paused at the comma. Similarly, let's say if I type, may I have your name? and click listen. May I have your name? You heard it increase the pitch towards the end because there is a question mark. Now if I remove this question mark and play again. May I have your name? It did not increase the pitch. Instead it read out like a statement because there is no question mark at the end. So all these basic punctuations are handled pretty good by default. But there are times when you have special requirements where you want it to say it differently. For example, let's type Please confirm if your phone number is 221-234-567. And if I listen to that. Please confirm if your phone number is 221,234,567. Wow, that's definitely not what we want. So this is where SSML comes to your rescue. SSML stands for Speech Synthesis Markup Language. It allows you to control how Amazon Poly generates speech from the text you provide. For example, you can modify the way certain text is pronounced, like the phone number in this case, or add emphasis to certain words in a sentence, or use phonetic pronunciation to ensure the words are pronounced exactly they are supposed to be. All these modifications to the pronunciation and intonation are done using SSML tags. So if I go to the SSML tab here, you can see the text inside the speak tags. This is just like HTML. Here, speak tag is the root element of all the SSML text. Anything that you write should be inside the speak tag when using SSML. Now let's replace this sentence with the one from the plain text tab. And if you click listen, there won't be any difference. It'll still say your phone number is 221,234,000, etc. So if we want to make it sound like a phone number, then we need to use the say as tag and ask Amazon Polly to interpret as a phone number. So I'll put this phone number within the say as tags. And then we need to specify how you want Amazon Polly to interpret it as. So we will use the attribute interpret as equals within double quotes telephone. Now if you click listen to speech. Please confirm if your phone number is 2212345678. There you go. So now it's said exactly like a phone number. You can find all the SSML tags in this link. I have also put it in the description of this video. Now let's see how we can use SSML to bring some life to our welcome message. At the moment, our welcome message sounds like this. Welcome to Busy Ping Broadband Services. So it's pretty flat, isn't it? So if I were to say this welcome message, I'll make sure that the word Busy Ping stands out from the rest of the sentence because that's my brand, which means I want to give more emphasis to it. So I'll wrap the word busy ping within the emphasis tag and set the attribute level to moderate. And now if we listen to it. Welcome to busy ping broadband services. It's a little better, but still it doesn't have the human-like feel. And that's because the emphasis tag simply increases the volume and reduces the rate of speech. What we really want is to alter the pitch. 
It would be much better if it can say busy ping at a higher pitch. So for that we will use another tag called prosody. With prosody tag you can alter the rate of speech, volume and the pitch of the voice. So I'll replace this emphasis tag with prosody tag. And I'll set the pitch to high and the rate to minus 20%. So basically the word busy ping will be spoken at a higher pitch and 20% lower speed. So let's listen to this. Welcome to busy ping broadband services. Well that sounds better but maybe we should have the higher pitch only for the word busy. So I'll take the word ping out of this prosody tag. And if I listen to this now. Welcome to busy ping broadband services. Excellent. That sounds much, much better. All right. Now let's use this SML text inside our contact flow. So I'll copy this. And I'll go back to the busy ping inbound flow. Open the play prompt block and replace this with what we have copied from Polly. Then you need to set the interpret as field to SSML. Then click save, publish, and now let's make a call and hear how it sounds. Thank you for calling Busy Ping Broadband Services. Excellent. That worked as expected. All right. Now let me give you an exercise. Your task is to find the correct SSML tag to say the Q position correctly for this statement. So instead of saying you are in the two position in the queue, it should say you are in the second position in the queue. And if you put three, it should say you are in the third position and so on. You need to do that without explicitly typing it as second or third or fourth, because when you build the scenario in Amazon Connect, you get only the number of your queue position, which is two, three, four, etc. So you need to use SSML to make this work. All right, so let's see in the next video.